Are you searching for a simple yet powerful scalping strategy? Look no further. In this video, we're diving into a scalping strategy that's not only easy to use, but also has a high win rate. This strategy will boost your confidence in making market entries. We're keeping this video short and to the point, so make sure you stick around until the end. And don't forget to support us by hitting that like button and subscribing. Now, head over to the Indicator Search tab and type in Simple EMA Trend Filter. Select the Simple EMA Trend Filter by Tanacorn. Next, let's configure it for optimal results. In the Input tab, set the MA Long to 38, MA Mid to 28, and MA Short to 8. Then, go to the Style tab and uncheck the boxes for Long EMA Style, Mid EMA Style, Short EMA Style, and Bar Color. Change the first shape to Below Bar and the second shape to Above Bar. Once you're done, click OK to confirm these settings. This simple EMA trend filter indicator will be your guide for placing market orders. Just follow the signals. A blue arrow below the candlestick means it's time to buy, while a purple arrow above the candlestick signals a sell. But hold on, before placing any orders, you need to confirm these signals. Now, let's add another indicator to filter the signals and enhance accuracy. Go back to the Indicator Search tab and type Squeeze Momentum Indicator. Select the one by Lazy Bear. Leave the input settings as they are, but in the Style tab, uncheck the box for the second plot and follow the rest of the settings as I do. Once finished, click OK. This Squeeze Momentum Indicator will confirm the signals from the simple EMA trend filter. A green histogram means bullish momentum, while a red histogram indicates bearish momentum. If there are no bars, it suggests no dominant momentum in the market. How to place a sell order. When a sell signal appears, confirm it by checking if a red histogram is visible on the squeeze momentum indicator. For final confirmation, ensure that the candlestick is bearish. If all these conditions are met, place your sell order right after the bearish candlestick closes. Set your stop loss at the most recent swing high and aim for a take profit with a 1 to 1.5 risk reward ratio. How to place a buy order. When a buy signal appears, confirm it by checking if a green histogram is visible on the squeeze momentum indicator. For final confirmation, ensure that the candlestick is bullish. If all these conditions are met, place your buy order right after the bullish candlestick closes. Set your stop loss at the most recent swing low and aim for a take profit with a 1 to 1.5 risk reward ratio. If you gained new insights today, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's it for today. See you in the next video.